Whenever I create multi-page documents, I add page numbers that update automatically as I work in the document. To do this, I simply click the Insert tab, and in the Header and Footer group, I click Page Number. I want my page numbers to appear at the bottom of each page, so I point to Bottom of Page and see a gallery of page number formats to choose from. I'll choose a page X of Y format so my readers will know where they are in the document. That was easy. I see page numbers on each page of my document, which will update whenever the document pagination changes. Let me explain a little about how Word displays the document now. The page numbers appear in an area labeled footer. Notice that this footer area, as well as a header area at the top of each page, is in focus and I can type in it. The body of the document appears dimmed and I cannot edit there. You can think of these areas as an additional layer of information sitting on top of the margins at the top and bottom of the document. To close the header and footer, on the Design tab of Header and Footer Tools, click Close Header and Footer. Now you'll notice that it's the page number that appears dimmed, while the body of the document is available to edit. I can open the header and footer area again simply by double-clicking in the top or bottom margin of the document. But let's say I want something more than just a page number in the footer of my document. This time, I'll click the Insert tab, and in the Header and Footer group, click Footer to see a gallery of pre-designed footers that I can choose from. I select a stylish one with a place for my company information, and there it is in my document. I type in my company name, and I'm all set. Or, if I want, I can make some formatting changes. For example, I'll click the Home tab, and in the Paragraph group, click Align Text Left to move my company name to the left side of the page. And if I want the footer to be higher on the page, I first click under the colored band to make sure nothing is selected. Then, in the position group, I click the up arrow for footer from bottom until the position looks good to me. Now, let me scroll up and add a header to my document. In the header and footer group, I click header and pick a style from the gallery that matches my footer. If I want to use another date format, I click the date and then click the year label to select it. Then, I press the delete key to delete the placeholder. In the insert group, I click date and time, and then pick a format from the list. I think that looks a little large, so I select the text and, in the mini toolbar that appears, I choose a smaller font size. I type the document title in the space provided. Finally, let's say that after I've created my headers and footers, I decide to change the theme I've used for my document. No problem. With the header and footer area open, I click the Page Layout tab, and then click Themes. As I move my cursor through the gallery, Word shows me previews of how my headers and footers, along with other elements on the page, will look using different themes. I pick the one I want, and presto, a whole new look. Be sure to check out the other demos in this article to see more possibilities for your headers and footers.